Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com and join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, it's a doggy dog world and I am bone marrow because I got my butt kicked like never before. Uh, Life Quest, I got, I, I, the Fire Quest was the first one and that's my second to worst deck. And then of course, it stuck me with the Life Quest, which is my worst deck deck and i got knocked down from 890 down to 181 a bronze three so now i gotta battle myself all the way back up i'm down to a 61 percent capture rate thank god i have the gold cards and the 10 percent bonus for each one otherwise i would be just hurting even worse um if i went much lower i would get if it's even possible i would get no chest if you go back to novic novice how do you say that word i don't know um so anyway it was a bad battling morning it took me forever uh there's a victory loss 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 you get the idea it was a nightmare um so i don't know i don't know if the matching up was i was being in a different level or something, but they, I was just getting my butt kicked. Um, I did notice a lot of people weren't using the life. So I was going against a lot of people that weren't going after the same quest. And I think that's something maybe they need to address is uh, if we're going after a life quest, we should only have to battle other people with life because why? Cause that makes it better for me right now. If that's going to happen, I don't know. But anyway, um, little change in the way I'm doing things. Um, I was getting confused with the, uh, this is Splinterlands at 10,000. This is not sponsored by Splinterlands. I'm doing this on my own. I'm trying to get to $10,000 by the beginning of next year. And I feel really good that I can do it. But on my investment, I had some numbers and you, and they're in all the past videos. So I don't need to explain them. But the problem was PayPal about a month, about, well, about three weeks ago, they said I couldn't just buy $4 packs anymore. I had to spend $10 at least. And that messed me up because I was putting in $10 and then buying two packs. And then I had $2,000 to buy potions. And it was messing up my numbers. So it's easier. I'm just going to, I'm going to date it and show it and add $10. I've already done that. And that will be my total investment. I will keep track of the number of packs that I purchased, but six like I bought with DC because it, it was getting hard. Like, like I had some uh, credits left after I bought potions. So I bought some common cards, you know, for a nickel or whatever the price was. And it was getting all confusing. It's just easy. Look, I put in $10. I can spend it on whatever I want. Where it goes doesn't really matter. What matters is the total to be as transparent as possible. So here's, I, I'm close to 500 of my own money in the project. And then I got all the numbers here. You can pause it. And from day to day, I'm going to do that for the entire year. When possible, I'll make a daily video. Um, so we're on the 21st. It dropped from 860, 830 yesterday. It's a very volatile site, just like all crypto and NFTs. These are NFTs, by the way, every single card. Um, so I'm at 830. I've, I have 124 cards. I would have more, but I like to do what? I like to sell them. I like to burn them and, and, and combine them. $49 in free SPS. For a grand total, if I was to cash out today, I would walk away with about 800 and uh, almost 900 bucks, but only about a $400 profit, which is as bad as things are in the market. That's incredible. I'm shocked I'm even not, I'm not in the negative because the markets are just everywhere you go, VV, Top Shot, all day, crypto, uh, any of the cryptos are down. Everything's, stocks are seeming to do a little bit better for some reason. Um, so I'm very happy with that. That means when things do go up, it's going to magnify it because this number right here, new record, every day I've been breaking records, 84,601. Remember, I transferred to a new strategy of gold cards, uh, specifically the summoner gold cards, and then I'm um, getting gold cards to rent out. 
Uh, I, I like to buy the cheapest gold cars because they're just so damn cheap right now. They're like 70 cents. You, you know, that's not going to be like that forever. Uh, and then I'm building on the death pack or death uh, card it, it group, the element, because you got to start somewhere. I could spread it out. And then I got, instead of having one real strong deck, I'm going to have eight weak decks at the beginning. So I'm going to concentrate on the death and I'm just going to have to deal with the inconvenience of getting my butt whipped occasionally. And, um, so there's that. What else can I, let's go do the fun stuff, which I do at the beginning of every video. And that way the rest of it, I just explain on how to, um, make money on the site. I am going to start making videos of me battling, not on the quest because it can be pretty ugly, but on the death and share my strategy. I'm going to probably do those in the evening. And I'm also going to cover, uh, I'm going to do some cut up AMA because there's some really important stuff that these guys are dropping. And uh, so that's, that's going to be happening too. Uh, let's go and claim the reward for day. It's not going to be good. Uh, because the lower you are, the worse the reward is, and you really can't get any lower than where I'm at right now. And yeah, it's frustrating. It really is. You you usually will win occasionally, but I couldn't win at all today. And I got one credit. To put this in perspective, uh, a credit is, that's one-tenth of a penny. <laughs> so... It's I've get I've had my ass handed to me today and always. Now the higher you go in rating, they get much better. You get more chests for the seasons, and you you actually get two in silver. I I got plenty of time to get back to silver, so that's what I'll start be taking more serious here in the next few days. So now let's go open the one pack. Uh, I bought I put in ten dollars yesterday, so there's my two packs. I bought the potions. Now the potions work like this. One potion, one card. Five cards per pack, so five potions per pack. And then it's actually five of each because you got gold and legendary. So it is using a total of 10, uh, of 10 potions on this pack opening. What that does is it doubles your chance for legendary gold. Doubles your chance for gold. Doubles your chance for legendary. Now, you do not have to have potions to open packs. You do not have to have potions to get a good card. The best card I've ever pulled, a legendary gold Ifrit Ryzen, I got without potions. It just helps. So let's go. We'll put this in here today. I'm going to get five cards. Now, I don't have to open packs to do what I'm doing. The only money you have to pay is a $10 entry fee. That's the only time you have to pay. I like opening packs and it's fun for the video and people like to watch people back. So, uh, so I decided I'm going to open up one pack a day, but, and I'll prove it later. You don't have to do that. Like, oh, even though I only got one credit, that's a way that you'll add to stuff. It just goes a lot slower. Uh, well, hold on before I do that. Okay. Five cards. And if it highlights like that, that means that that's, you're, you get a rare or better guaranteed in every pack. So I got four commons and a rare. Any of these can be gold. All these could only be a gold common, though. So let's open up the first one. That is a common. Common good card. I use him all the time. I love that sneak attack. They can attack from anywhere in the line. Okay. And then now for the rare. And so not a good pack today. Now... All these cards are really not worth much right now, but as I'm going to prove later on in the video, they can be very valuable because these are all NFTs and every day we're getting these cards in packs and buying them and then we're combining them, which means we destroy the old ones. So every day there's less of these cards available and I'll prove that in a second here. So not a good day on the packs. So let's start. That's it for that stuff. The rest of it's just me explaining how to make money. Uh, so like and subscribe. If you like what you see, you can come check out every day where my numbers are at. And then um, if you see me doing something wrong, let me know. Uh, if you got a question, ask a question. And then but that way you don't you can just watch the beginning first five, ten minutes and take off. And then the rest is for the new people. Uh, pretty much. I like to um, if I'm an affiliate marketer. 
I like to promote other people's products for a kickback. And I only promote products that I believe in. And I super believe in this product big time. Um, and when you join, you get a URL with your ID embedded in it. And these are all the people I've signed up. And as you can see, they haven't done much of anything. I've had one person buy a spell book. And, but don't let that bother you if you start affiliate marketing. Um, these are called sleepers now. One day, one of them will wake up. You just want to accumulate as many people as you can. And you do that by having them cl click on your link and sign up underneath you. And if you like what you see, please do that. It helps me out. But you don't have to pay any money. You can play for free. And then if you decide to pay the $10, I get 5% of that. It's not a whole lot, but I also get 5% of all the packs you open for the rest of your life. What, what every affiliate marketer wants is you're going to find somebody like the guy who got me is happy because I'm buying stuff every day. And if he's got 100 people like me, he's doing very well. That's your goal. Or you get a guy or girl who gets on there and they buy 10,000 packs because they're rich. So that's the, the ultimate goal uh, of, of that. But that comes out of Splinterland's pockets, not yours. So don't think because you sign up underneath me, you got to give me 5% personally. No matter who you sign up under, that's going to happen, whoever signs you up. Okay. That's the affiliate marketing program. That's one way to build your asset and get more powerful. The next way is I already showed you the quest. Uh, if you've looked at my other videos, I've gotten much better rewards. In fact, yesterday I got a card and, uh, but it's this, this is the worst day I've had in battling. I just could not win to save my life. So there's a daily 24 hours. There's the clock countdown that you can uh, use. And then they have a season that twice a month. When it ends, you get how many chests you're at. Uh, I should be back up to silver. I'll get 12 or more. So I'm not worried about that. And that uh, you can see what I got last season. I got 12 chests and cards and DC. I got a lot of DC. Got about 500, 600 DC. And I got four cards, I think. And I got potions. So and that's open to everybody. Uh, so there's another way to build up that. So that's three ways. The fourth way is buying and selling in the market. And I'm going to go into that deeper in a few minutes, but that's where I do very well. And I'll show you, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to start showing you every day what I sold the night before. So you can see what I'm doing. Um, so the DC I get from that, you can keep it because it's a crypto. It could go up in value or you can reinvest it. I like to reinvest it. I'm saving all my SPS. Uh, I, you got to do something, right? You can't save everything. You, you, you want to, but you can't. Uh, and then, so there's way number four. Then I rent out the cards I'm not using so I can keep them while they go up in value. So there's way number five. And then as you're battling, once you get the bronze two and you battle, you'll win, win free DEC. So there's way number six. Okay, so now let's go to the shop. Now, this isn't really a, a way uh, because you have to have owned packs or bot packs either to qualify. But for every pack you buy, you get a small percentage chance of getting a free legendary card in an airdrop that they do every million packs. They started out with 15 million. They got 7 million left. And in 21,333 packs, which could be today, uh, that will be sold. They'll drop it. Okay. And because I got 99 packs, and I'm probably going to have 101 if they don't sell out in the next day or two, I'll have 99 chances. And theoretically, I could get 99 legendary cards. Now, I wasn't available for these three because I hadn't joined yet. Then I bought my packs, none for her. Two of her I got, two legendaries, and she's a very powerful card. Well, they're all powerful. This one, I didn't get any. This one, I didn't get any. Now, this one, hopefully I get one to five. But like I said, I could get 99 if it if I got lucky. And that would be extremely lucky. So there's another way. The other way is to, uh, they're dropping free SPS. Okay. You stake that. And you, you get it for free and you stake it if you want. And they're worth about a 
10 cents right now a piece and I got 474 of them. That's how I get the $50 value. Uh, it was at a quarter when I joined in January. So it's come down like everything else. And then I'm getting vouchers. I've only got 1.49, but that depends on the, the amount of SPS you got. The vouchers you can sell or you can use to uh, get in early on like new packs or whatever they got going on. Here's a special they did. This is one of the reasons I think this site's going to be around for the long haul. Uh, I can't remember. This guy's pirate something. I, I'm going to do a video on it. I, I keep, I got to research it, but it, it had to do with the big guys. It was $7,000 for the gold foil card and 1500 for the standard card. They sold out and they, um, but it, they did it with this guy because he's got a big following. I keep saying 2 million people might be more, might be less, but that's not the point I'm trying to get across. By doing this, they, one, he's a fan of the game, obviously. And two, he brings in all his followers. So that is that is brilliant marketing. That is a group that's not afraid. You know, they some groups like to just keep everything to themselves and they don't expand. They know how to market. They know how to... Uh, spread the wealth, all that stuff. And I like to see things like that. The second thing is land. They're in the land game. They sold out. I missed out. I just missed out. I can get it on the secondary market. I'm going to do so the first chance I get. I got to save up for some money. I'm also on VV and All Day and Top Shot. So the money can only go around so much. I'd probably be better off if I concentrated on one thing, but I can't. That's just me. Um, craft items and spells on the land you own. That means, and they're going to attach this to the game. Now, I hope they have a toggle switch where you can decide to play that version of the game or the old version of the game because I'm not sure how I'm going to like spells and craft items. So that's the gameplay part of it. So I hope they have a toggle switch you can choose between the two. Um, but for what I do love about it is if I own land, I can craft these items and spells and sell them. So I, I now have an online business, which I really do already anyway. When you got a market, you have an online business. You're buying and selling. Okay. So they've also made it that you have to use certain cards on the land to develop this stuff. I don't know if that burns the cards or whatever it does, but the point is it makes all the cards relevant, even the old ones. Because usually, it's like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, when, when they retire a set, a pack, then those cards kind of get forgotten about and they're just investing. That's all they're for. Now, they're going to be needed at all times on all aspects of the board and the game. So that is just incredible. Here's where you go get potions. You can buy them here. They're like a nickel a piece. They're not bad at all. Uh, like I said, you don't have to have potions to get a good card, but it helps. And I ha I did pull a gold summoner, like a $40 card, and some other gold cards. Uh, but usually the packs are like what you saw today. Okay. Uh, the skins, I got to get me one. They only take DC. I'm always spending my DC. Uh, but they're, they're a good investment. And they also help you get more SPS, so I should definitely get some as soon as I can. I might just go ahead and put some money in to get it. Of course, I would show that on my platform if I did so. Um, here's the SPS that I get every day. They go by that PowerPoint number, so the higher number it is, the more SPS you get. Uh, here's the value of it. 10.2 cents. They're going to drop it for another 100 and another four months, roughly. And um, and then I stake it at 28.46% and say I got more. And I add that in today when it drops. So I'm just adding, I should have about 2,000 by the end of the drop. And if it's a 10 cents, that will be a couple hundred dollars. If it goes up to a quarter, it'll be about $500. And if it goes to a dollar, I'm sitting purdy. So I'm collecting and saving these. But there's some more. That's another couple ways to make money. Uh, let's go to my cards. And I'm going to show you what I like to do. I am a burner. I'm a burn fanatic. I Oh, here's the S cards. These are the cards you get for free. And and even when you pay, you still get to use them. Uh, it, it, does, it doesn't cost anything. Each element's got four or five cards that you can play for free. But we want to look at what I own. Okay, and here's 
these are my fire cards. And these aren't the gold cards. These are just this. But anyway, I got one of these today in the pack. So I have two of them. Now, the reason I love burning is one, it makes your card more powerful but not until you get to the next level and you need multiple cards to get to the next level. So I'll explain that. Um, the, the second thing does, it makes it more rare and valuable. Okay. But it also helps you when, when people are burning their cards, it makes my card more rare and valuable. So I love burning. I just love the concept. It means that once they're finished with all of them getting out of the packs, that number in circulation will every day get lower and lower and lower. So here we go. I've got five cards at second level. That means I've destroyed five cards, took an amount of circulation. And there's the value of it, 28 cents. So I'm going to combine them. And I'll have six cards. And I'll have one card towards the next level. So let's go ahead and do this. Yes, it's irreversible. You can't go back a week later and say, I want my cards back. So I've just now made your card more rare and more valuable. You're welcome. And look at that. Box of six, one to nine. I'm going for third level. Now, this is a common. common, And this is out of the um, Chaos Legion packs, the new ones. So it takes 400 cards to make the max it out. Imagine all the burning going on every day. Okay. At my next level will be, I'll have 14 cards in it, and it'll have three speed, four the, uh, health, seven, I get 70 power points, and it's always got that, that special ability. But as it goes up, it gets more special abilities. Okay, so um, you want to empower your cards, and you want, but you have to empower your summoners because you can't bring these cards into play without them. The summoners are the gatekeepers. That's why I'm starting first on the gold summoners. I'm going to build those up and then I can work on the other cards lately. And uh, of course, I'm going to get my butt kicked until then. It's all what you want your strategy to be. That's If you're a strategist and you like doing things your way, even if they it sucks, you're going to do it and you're going to have fun doing it. And that's what I love about this site. I'm just shining a light on this. You're going to do it your way, okay? So anyway, that's how you combine and burn cards. Now, let me go prove to you what I've been saying is true. It's easy for me to tell you that's they're going to go up in value, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm going to show you the proof of what I said happens. They get rarer, there's less of them, and they go up in value. And if it will... Let me get to there. I'll show you. I got two sites I'm going to show you that really help out so that if you decide to do this, you can get. Okay, here we are. Where can you buy an NFT for two cents? This also has the cheapest NFTs in the world other than getting it for free. And there aren't too many of those. There is a Grammy NFT, by the way. Go look it up. I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, I believe in grabbing every free NFT. You never know. It doesn't cost anything besides the time. And and then I store them. I'm going to store them in Coinbase when NFT store base opens up and just forget about them until I wake up one day and they're worth millions of dollars, right? So anyway, here they are, two cents a piece. That's the circulation. There's close to a million of them. 19,000 people are selling them. If there's no red flag and you see the card, on the market, it means there's only one person selling it. The second two people are selling it, they put out this red flag with the number two or higher. Okay. So there we go. Here's the market. These are the com. Well, these are all the regular foil cards. There's a total of 476. That includes summoners, summoners and monsters. Okay. So this platform is about three years old. Let's go and look at, as you go down, I'm going to take us all the way to the bottom where the most valuable card is. And this is just the regular foil. Now, he's a legendary, okay? 32,083 cards left. Now, this was part of the Alpha Bravo, you know, the first cards to come out. Uh, People were getting them out of $2 packs. But um, what I'm trying to prove to you is that it goes down in circulation. 
So maybe this started out with a um, uh, hundred thousand. I don't know. Probably much lower than what they came out with today on the new cards. So, but let's just do the commons and see what the the most. Okay, it's at thirty four ninety two for what that means. Let's go look at the stats. That means in order for you to max this card out, you'd have to get three hundred seventy nine of them at thirty four dollars and twenty four cents. So do the math. You're talking twenty thousand dollars to max it out. Uh, this guy's got two hundred forty eight of them, and that's forty four dollars a piece for eleven thousand dollars. You understand? Are you getting a picture of how this works? This is incredible. For the fun part, let's just go look at the gold legendary. Gold, where is it? Okay, let's go to legendary. Let's get rid of the commons. And let's go to the gold. Oh, and I'm back. I got to go back to the market. I'm sorry. I went back to my cards. And... uh so the reason I changed my strategy to gold cards is because they're the rarest just to begin with. They give you a 10% bonus per card in battle, which means if I got all seven slots filled with gold cards, I get 70% extra DEC per battle. Plus, they're, they're, they're going to be more valuable, just you know, common sense. So let's go gold and let's go legendary. And I'll show you the card I pulled out. Let's get rid of the commons. Okay. there's That's the one I got in the airdrop, except it was not gold, the foil. Okay. But um, I'm not positive you can get a gold one version. I don't know. Maybe you can. I, I'll have to check that out. But here he is right here. He's going for $100 right now. There's only 11 people selling them, and there's only 558. There's going to be more as they open more packs, but they're also burning them and selling them or uh, combining them. But I got that with no potions, so you don't have to have potions, even though I do recommend you get them. And um, so let's go down. There's only 89 legendary gold of all time. That's even with it. And I bet you it's the same guy. I bet you it's the baby, the baby king. Let's see. Where is he at? And yeah, it is. $75,000. Okay. There's only seven left in existence. You can't even max this guy out if you wanted to. Let's go, let's go look at the stats. Okay, you need you only need four of his cards. That's the good news to max them out, which means you can bring in 10th level, eighth level. Now, even though that's only an eighth level on the on the uh rare, that's the max level. The max level for legendaries is fourth level. So you can max, you can bring in the most powerful cards. So let's go see. So you're talking 75 times four is what? $300,000 <laughs> for, for NFT cards. If you don't believe me now, there's only one person selling. That's it. 75. You couldn't, you couldn't even buy four cards to max it out, even though there's enough left to do so. So yeah. Wow. Okay. So in the market, you can get to a site called Peak Monsters. There's also Monster Z and um, Auction Auction Z and Monster Market. I don't use those two. They're a little bit more complex. I stick to Peak Monsters, and I like to buy all my cards on the platform. Uh, you get 3%. I should be doing it. I just – I went to try it, and it just was – I'm not into wallets. I don't like jumping through two winning hoops. If you make it one too many steps – and, and if you're listening, if one of the developers to get the regular people, because there's only less than one percent of one percent of the world's population who even own any crypto and mess around with NFTs. But the bulk of the people, if you make it one step too complicated, they're not going to do it. Which means one one button, one click, get it done type thought. That's that's. That's the truth. And I'm, I'm one of those. Uh, the only reason I got on this platform is because they allowed me to use a credit card. If they said you have to use only crypto and you have to go through Ethereum and get gas fees and do all that BS, I wouldn't do it. And I wouldn't be here. And I'd be missing out on one of the most incredible platforms, I think, so far, other than Vivi. Vivi's the other one. 
Um, so, but they're two different things. VV just sells collectibles. This does a card game. Now, VV said they're going to get into card games, so we'll see. That's going down the line. But um, And trust me, I'll have time for both. But anyway, so here's Peak Monsters. I use this to be transparent. There's the total value, $828.73. Let's update it. It updates by the minute, 829. When I got up this morning, it was 800. So it's all over the place, okay? I like to buy in the morning and sell in the evening. That's just seems to be the prices go up in the evening. I'm getting 142 DEC a day in uh, from renting, 40%. Now, this will 8X by the end of the season. So I'll be getting about 800 DEC a day. This is a part of my strategy is to open up a rental store, is to get enough cards that I don't need but that are going to go up in value and get more and I can rent out for more. And then with that generated income, I'm going to buy even more cards and it just gets bigger and better. Now, when are you ever going to pull out any profit? I don't know. I haven't made, and that's a cardinal sin not to have a number, but I'm just having too much fun right now and I don't really need it. Okay. I'm, I'm in a position. I, I don't need to pull money out of this. I I'd, I'd rather concentrate on playing the game and, to me, the investing is playing. It's it's a different type of video game. Okay, it's fun. My endorphins are flying off the charts when I'm talking about it and doing about this. The problem is when I go to talk to people, they they get that you know eyes headlight or deer in the headlights look because there's so much crap going on around the good stuff and people. If you remember the dot com period. If it said dot com on the end of it, people were buying it without doing any research. They'd buy it and then they lost all their money. But for the few people who bought into the right stuff, they became millionaires. It's a true story. It's the same thing with the crypto and the NFTs. They're they're flying in here. They there's so many wolves out there with all this promising you the world. They don't ever research it. They buy into it. Two weeks later, they pull the rug. All their money's gone. It's happening in the billions of dollars. That's why you need to watch YouTube and, and watch people who will show you and make your own mind up so you don't lose your money. Now, this does that mean this game is guaranteed to be a success? No, but I'm saying what I see in this, I'm the most positive, this is going to be a success. And that's how you can make a better judgment. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my own risk. This is for entertainment purposes only. And please like and subscribe and join any links below. But that's, you just got to be careful. So like Vivi, you know how I got on Vivi? Because of Disney. I trust Disney. I trust that they vetted that company. They're not going to give their billion dollar IPs out to just anybody. So I didn't even blink an eye. I just joined VV and started doing it because I let Disney be my vetter. And I'm glad I did because even though VV's like, it's a bloodbath over there. Right now the prices are absolutely horrible, but there, I, I'm looking five, 10 years. Okay. And I think it's going to be a lot sooner than that, that you're going to see some really good results. But I'm confident, what I'm saying is I'm confident I'm on the right platforms. The ones that are going to be around, the Amazons, the Googles, these are the Amazon and the Googles of the NFT. And there's going to be more. And it doesn't mean the ones I'm not doing aren't any good. I just, you can only do so much. There's just, there's so many of them out there going on. So anyway... I'm rambling. There's that. There's my CP points. Okay. And um, so before I let you go, oh, no, I today I was going to start showing you what I buy and sell every day. So let's go to my market history. Okay. I sold, okay, purchase, purchase, purchase. Pur what did I purchase? Gold, gold. And look what I'm paying for it 67 cents. And then I rent them out. I max them out. And I rent them out. And I'm making even more DC. But I sold the forgotten one. Now, some people would get mad at that. But it's in what? It's in my fire element. And I don't build my fire deck. And it was $4.50. But what had it done that I showed you yesterday morning in my video? It had gone up 90%. You sell high, you buy low. So I sold it. 
I'll get another one. I'm not, I can still get this out of a pack. I'm not worried about it. See, I bought gold, 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 gold. But what did I buy? We're, okay, I just, yeah, I sold that yesterday. Okay, and with that money, I purchased gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I purchased seven gold cards. See, this is why I don't have to add it to my total investment because that's generated money from within the platform. I'm only counting money that I paid in and then I'm going to pay myself back and have a total. Now, some people would do it differently. I understand. But because they go, oh, well, if you made that DC, that's now your money. No, it's not because you haven't pulled it off the platform. It's not taxable. It's not taxable till you pull it off the platform. And then, so if when I cash out, I would pay taxes after my tax write-offs of $393, I think it was. That's how that works, okay? So, um, okay, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, so I bought set. And then what did I do with those? I destroyed them. You're welcome. You're welcome, Palais Core Deceiver holders of gold card. I just made your card more rare and valuable. You could send thank you cards and the links below. So anyway, that's it. Um, oh, no. Let me show you one more thing. Splinter cards. This is a site. Now, this is separate, uh, but you can go to it, and it has so much information. Um, I use this tool. Well, first, let's look at this. This is the estimated Chaos Legion pack. The estimated value is $3.45. They're $4 a pack, okay? But it tells you, so I don't know what that means, and I really don't care because I'm paying $4 no matter what. I don't know if that means I can go on the secondary market and get them cheaper. Why somebody would be selling it cheaper don't make any sense. But um, it tells you what each pack contains and the percentage and what happens when you use potions and Bonus packs, free market fees, go cap, all that stuff. All right. It has that type of information. But here's what I'm going to look at today because I then, if I see what I like, I'm going to go buy. Because like I told you yesterday, the forgotten one had gone up 90%. I don't know why. Maybe somebody made a good YouTube video about how powerful of a card it is. So let's go to common... And I'm already on the uh, Chaos Legion packs. So you can you can filter all the packs, all the types. I want to do rare foil commons or, or uh, uh, common foils, Chaos Legion. And then I go to each one, rare epic level. So let's do the commons first. What am I looking for at this point? I'm looking for stuff that, and I'm doing it uh, one week. I like to do it in the last day. Everybody will have different strategies, but I'm going to explain to you why I do this, and it works very well for me. I'm looking for things that have dropped 30% or more. Lava Spider. Okay, I sold that two days ago because it was up 80%. Now it's down 40%. So I will buy more of those today. Why? Because you buy low and sell high. If you always buy at a 30% or more discount, one, it covers the 5% fee and any other mathematical mess-ups you might make. And you're always buying at a discount, so you have an inventory now that's what? It's a discounted inventory. And then you never sell until it's 30% or higher, which means you got a 60% kaboom. And when I say higher, higher from what it was at before you bought it at a 30% discount. Now, I break my collection into three parts. The ones I battle with, the ones I am keeping for investment and rent, because you can do both. If, if you're keeping them for an investment, you might as well rent them out. And then the third group is buy and sell. So my buy and sell group is at a discount. And if I transfer them ever over into either one, I've gotten them at a discount. Why? Because you buy low and sell high. You want to know something so funny right now? It's the psychological part of like Vivi. You can get a golden moment now for under a hundred dollars. Okay. They were the, the highest one was going for 60,000. 
that was the partner statue. But the new ones they just dropped are going for under $100. If you go look at the data, people were buying them left and right when they were high. Now that they're at a discount, nobody will touch them. And then you then you think buy low, sell a high. It, it, psychologically, people don't want to buy stuff when they're low. <laughs> it's I know I, I've got the same problem. And then when it's pumping, I want to buy it all of a sudden when I could have bought it at a discount and then cashed out when it went high. I, I, I can't figure it out, but that's the human psyche. That's the way we are. Oh, what? It's down 120%. I ain't going to buy it. It's up 120%. Oh yeah. How many can I get? I know it's, it's incredible, but anyway, use that system. Let's go look at that forgotten one. I think he's an Epic. Let's see what he's at today. I sold him yesterday. Now he, they, he might go up, but who cares? I made, I made a good profit on him. What did I say? It was the forgotten one. Yeah. He's down 20% today. You see how that works? Was it the forgotten one? Yeah. But anyway, you get the point. It's like this, these markets up and down, up and down. So if you go by percentage and, and you got your number, you got to know what your number is. I'm not even going to get into that because I'll be in that all day. So anyway, uh, that's a long enough video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.